If you're looking for a reasonable fat tire bike rack that's heavy duty enough to hold heavy electric bikes but also standard bikes, well then check this one out. I think you guys are going to like it. This is a pretty lengthy video, but I promise you it's everything you'll need to know. If you have any questions, we'll chat about it below. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back. If you guys already follow me, you know that I already have a portable electric bicycle that could be easily folded up and transported like in the back of my wife's CRV here. However, if you guys have a bike like this and are going on a trip and you need more storage space in your vehicle and want the extra room, you're going to need a way to transport your bicycle externally in the, on the vehicle and that's what I wanted to be able to do. So I got the perfect solution for you guys today and that is going to be this thing right here. It's the Overdrive Sport 4 bicycle rack made by Overdrive. And What's nice about this is this thing is super heavy duty. We're going to be go over, going over the specs on this thing today, seeing how, how much weight per bike it can hold. It comes with the fat tire racks. That way you don't have to buy any additional racks for your fat tire bike. And also you can use it as a one bike rack, two bike, three bike, or four bike rack if you don't need all four or if you only need one, which is a really nice option. So I'm going to show you guys here how to mount this thing today on the back of a vehicle. and go over some specs show you guys how sturdy it is now you can see here this is my portable folding uh, electric bike however it does take up a good bit of room in a vehicle and it is kind of cumbersome getting in and out of a vehicle because it weighs 60 pounds although i do have that option if i don't need the room for storing other items all right now one thing that's really nice about this rack is it comes with an anti-vibration mechanism built in the hitch you just want to make sure you put your hitch pin through the right side of the hitch and when you tighten it up it pushes this little plate up which makes it tight in your hitch which keeps it from moving around and it comes with a locking pin for the hitch which is nice it takes the same key as the rest of the locks on the hitch and this may prevent someone from stealing it all right guys so basically if you buy an overdrive sport 2 bike rack this is what you're going to get right here you're going to get the one with the two holders it folds up nicely on the vehicle you can see here it sticks out behind the vehicle and angles up and then the bar that holds the bikes down folds down so to put this thing down all you do basically you push this lever right here and that's what puts this thing down and then it locks in right here with these little square things let me see if i can show you, you see that there now when I seen this online, I was a little concerned about that, basically holding all the weight on that. But I gotta tell you guys, these, this frame right here is pretty thick on this thing. So I'm really not concerned. You can see here how that locks in. That's a solid square pin, and this frame here is really thick. So I don't think I'd have an issue at all with this holding the weight of the bikes. And then this center bar here, basically there's a little push pin here. You push it in and then flip this up. All right guys, so that right there is basically the Overdrive Sport 2 rack, but for the for like an extra 90 bucks on Amazon, you can get the Overdrive Sport 4. And what's nice about that, it is allows you to hold four bikes. And also if you don't need all four, you could take the locking mechanism off the other set of two and put it on here as well. That way both of these lock, because right now only one of each of these lock, which keeps the bikes locked down. Now those are only going to prevent theft uh, so much. Somebody can easily unbolt this whole frame rail with one bolt, taking out the one single bolt there and take the whole thing up off of there. So it's, it's not really uh, that big of a deal. It is nice to prevent somebody from quickly and easily to remove the bike. But like I said, if they really want your bike, they're gonna get it anyway. All right, so now we're gonna get my bike out of the car and show you how my fat tire electric bike fits on here. Now, what's well, the reason I bought this one, this is the two inch version. They also have a, a version that goes in a one inch hitch, but you can't get the four bike version in that model. So what's nice is you can angle this rack down. That way you can still get the trunk of your vehicle open when the rack and the bikes are installed.
All right, guys. Now this bike is a little, a little heavy to put on here because it's about 60 pounds. I like keeping this one in the back, closer to the vehicle, because it's he the heaviest bike that we have. Now this is rated for 60 pounds per bike on Amazon, but in the manual it's actually rated for 66 pounds per bike. That's one of the reasons I bought this rack versus others. Basically I have this position so this locking mechanism goes down right behind where the bike folds. That's what I figured works the best for me. Push that down on there tight and then tighten this up. See, that's pretty sturdy now it does come with some velcro straps here if you guys have any questions at all on this bike rack we'll chat about it in the comments below and if you've been using a bike rack for these heavy electric bikes please leave a comment as well here your wheels down so they don't bounce up out of there now i like putting this this one in the rack this way that way i can still fold the handlebars down if i want And eventually I'm going to get a cover, maybe like a grill cover or something, to be able to cover this when it's in transport. But you can see here, even with the bike installed, if you want to get in the rear of the vehicle, just bend it down, and the trunk still opens perfectly. Alright guys, so now when you buy the Ford bike version, you get this additional accessory here for the two other bikes. And basically you just slide it in this tube here, and you have two bolts that holds this on. Now we're going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about this, why I put this together here. Basically this rack was the cheapest, heaviest duty one that I could find on Amazon for an e-bike that was already capable of hauling uh, fat tire bikes. Most of the other ones I've seen like Hollywood racks and stuff like that, they have that you can haul, the, the weight rating is good enough for e-bikes but you have to purchase the separate tubes there for the fat tires which I don't even know how much they were, but it, it, it made the price of the rack a lot more money. So basically, if you don't want to use this as a four bike, like I said, you could just take this off of here and just use it as a two bike rack, or you can attach this with these two bolts here, use it as three or four bike. So when we got this thing, my wife took it in the house, she was like, man, that thing is super heavy. It, this whole rack in the box weighs 93 pounds, so it is a heavy rack, definitely heavy duty. Now if you're using just the rack as a two bike rack, it's gonna be somewhere between 45 and 50 pounds. But if you add this extension on the back, it puts it at around 90 pounds. So just keep that in mind guys, this isn't no light, light duty rack. This thing's definitely heavy duty. One of the reasons that I went with this platform rack, other than it being definitely strong enough to hold my electric bicycle, was the fact that uh, I looked at a few different ones and obviously I can't have the one that holds the bikes that stick out. I wanted the platform rack, but they do make some that have these that come down over the wheels. I wasn't able to get that one because my bike has fenders and you would have had to come in front of that fender and I was afraid that it wasn't going to hold it very good. It may have, or I may have had to take the fender off, which I didn't want to do. So that's one reason why I didn't get that, that style. I got the style that comes down over the frame. And actually in the manual, this, this bike rack actually says in there that the weight rating on it is uh, 66 pounds per bike. And I believe on Amazon it said it was like 60 pounds. So it actually has a higher weight rating in the manual than it does on Amazon. And these here, you can adjust in and out, basically for the width of your bike, and then tighten them up. And those are pretty heavy duty there. These tubes come all the way through this and is welded on both sides. Some of the other racks out there are only welded to one side here. So that'll definitely make this a lot stronger coming all the way through this square tubing welded on both sides here. And you could flip these over and have these angled down to keep your bike sitting a little lower, but I kind of like them sitting up high. And at first I thought I was gonna have to because I thought my D-roller would hit this, but it actually doesn't hit, it works great. All right guys, so here's the four bike rack all installed. I got three bikes on it. Now a few specs I want to go over with you guys. Between here from center to center, you got about 12 and a half inches. But on these center ones here, you only have about 10 and a half. So there's two inches less between the two center bikes than you have between all the other ones. So just keep that in mind. And you'll see here, 
it sticks out away from the car a good bit and this thing is really sturdy I'm definitely impressed with the quality of it all right guys so now I'm gonna give you guys some measurements here from where it goes into the hitch to the back of right here is about four foot one inch to the back of the reflector and that's about where it'll be when I use it because I'm gonna take these two off and just use it with the three bikes so it'll be four foot one to there and all the way to the outside of here is about four foot nine so that's from where it goes into the hitch to the very back it sticks out four foot nine from the vehicle from the hitch to here now the only issue that I, I had was you can see I have my son's race bike here in the center and it fit good. Now, as I said before, you could take off, if you get the four bike rack, you could take off the other shorter one that locks and use it on the other on the other side. That's what I had to do because I needed another short one to secure his small bike here. And I wanted my bike to lock as well, so I put both locking ones on this front one. So if, you, if I would have just bought the two bike rack, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And uh, the issue that I have with this with my son's other bike is that It only has 16 inch wheels. So the wheels are too small to lock in to here So anything smaller than a 20 inch wheel this bike rack will not work for I'm probably going to try to Maybe mount a piece of wood or something back here So that it'll sit on here and then I'll be able to use it for this bike as well But anything smaller than 20 inch it will not work And one other measurement I wanted to give you guys now This is for fat tire bikes that comes with the fat tire uh, holders here some of the other ones like I said the Hollywood racks I think you have to buy them separately so by the time you pay extra for the rack plus buy these you're way over in price than if you would just buy this one right off the bat now the width between here is about five and three sixteenths almost five and a quarter between here and then it narrows in the front so that you can use it either with a regular bike like this and you can see it's it's in there sturdy even though there's a big gap there because the way it angles in the front it holds them really good that way so you can go anywhere up to about a five inch tire to fit down through here like i said i'm only going to use this for three bikes so what i'll do is i'll just take these two things off the back here have these as extras and then i'll just use it like that so it'll be four foot out for me when i'm using it now the only thing I did notice that is going to be tough with this thing mounted on here being that it's so deep is if you had to put this down to get in your hatch you almost need two people because if you pull that lever if you go up there and pull that lever this thing's going to fall and it's it's too far even with only three bikes for me to be able to reach it if you had longer arms you might be able to but you almost need a second person to pull that lever and then to let this down easily if you were to fold it down to get in your trunk so keep that in mind when you have more than two bikes on here with two bikes it's not a big deal it's easy to reach and fold down so i'm going to go ahead and try to fold it down this way and see if i can do it, it looks pretty oh yeah it's heavy oh. yeah definitely need two people to do that it's really heavy doing it that way but you can see there how it folds down and it's actually hitting the ground there if I had the fourth attachment on, it would definitely hit the ground. If you had this on the back of like a truck or something, uh, it probably wouldn't hit. But then again, why would you need it if it was on a truck? Just put the bikes in the back. It was still open. And then easily pick it back up. But like I said, that thing is heavy. Definitely heavy. I'm going to go ahead and take these off here, fold it up and flip it up and show you guys what it looks like flipped up. And I'll put a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in either the two or the four bike rack. You can go ahead and get it off of Amazon. That's where I got this one. All right, it's kind of nice that it sticks away from the car a good bit because you can get behind it to take your bike off. Oh man, is this thing heavy. So you just push this pin here, which folds these down. Push this one here, fold this down, then you just pull that lever and this whole thing will fold up close to the car. Alright, so there it is folded up to the car. It folds up nice, that way if you're parking somewhere and you don't have the bikes on, you can fold it up to get in tighter. You don't have people tripping over it or running into it. 
And this thing is massive, guys. This four bike one is massive. Like I said, it's about 90 pounds altogether. Definitely heavy duty. If you guys found this video helpful at all, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.